AVS Media Demo. Welcome back to the Crypto Knowledge Alliance. In today's video, we will be reviewing Bitcoin price action. We're going to have a little roundup of the market on coin market cap, and there is one particular news story that stands out for me this week, and I would like to have a discussion with you guys about it. Before I crack on with Crypto Live, I just want to say it's been an excellent week of growth in the Telegram chat. AVS Media Demo. The of people, but the quality of experience they're bringing with them. If you're in there, you've seen some of the names that have recently got involved. Excellent to see people like that joining the group. I'm not a name dropper. That is not what I'm about at all. Um, but I just want to say thank yous to the folks that have joined and uh, especially those people who I, who can come in and really deliver educational content AVS and Media Demo become more knowledgeable in this space. It's absolutely what I want, so thank you very much. Um, so come and get involved, guys. If you want to have cryptocurrency trading conversations with like-minded people, the link's in the, in the description below. You can see it just blowing up just there as we talk. You know, you can see Telegram popping up. Come and get involved in that. It's, uh, it's well worth it. Um, AVS also, Media you know, if you can Demo. Give us a like and a subscribe here on YouTube. That is really going to help us deliver more content to more people. So that'd be great. Thank you. Right. All of that out of the way. It's Jimbo. Let's do Crypto Live. Bitcoin one day is where we'll start. Okay. So what's been going on? We've crossed the 50 EMA, which is this white uh, moving average here, which is quite a bullish sign. AVS Media Demo. It's not just there but there and there and here again and we've finally broken through it which is a lovely sign we have however got this range tightening since mid um december this tightening range we've got form eight for um forming and we know we will expect to see a break out of this eventually whether or not it's going to be right now it's hard to AVS tell media to wait, demo. And wait and see personally i think it's more likely that we break down to te retest the support line before we we break out either way I'm only saying that because it looks like we've run out of steam a little bit and we haven't managed to set a higher high than the previous peak. So, you know, keep an eye on it, but don't be completely surprised if we see a Bitcoin breakdown in the next day or two. And even if we test back down... AVS Media Demo. We've got to be objective, guys. We all want to see it go up. But what we also have to do is really... For us to be successful in this market is call it how we truly see it. And this is how I truly see it. I, I am in no leverage positions in Bitcoin currently, full disclosure, and I will not be leveraging any trades until I can see a clear break from either way here. We break AVS up this media with the right demo. Volume, then maybe I'll get involved. We break down and clearly get rejected off this line, and maybe I'll get involved. Until then, I'm sitting neutral and waiting to see where the price goes. Okay. Um, I think that's probably enough for Bitcoin, to be honest. I think you guys know about whereabouts it is. Um, we're trending along this line at the moment. We're waiting to see where it goes. AVS I will just Media go Demo. To the one hour because I did share something with the Telegram group the other day, and it was here um, on the 21st or the 22nd where we were trading between this support from the Uchimuku cloud and resistance from the 50 EMA. And I said, we're going to have to wait and see which way we break out of this convergence. We've broken above it positively on the one hour. If you can see, because you're on the one hour. And we have since then, we've touched it, we've retested AVS the AVS Media once, Demo. But we've stayed above both. Now, this is a good sign. But as you can see right here, this is another convergence occurring as we speak. Between now and, I don't know, any time, probably up to the 25th, 26th of February, and it's probably the end of February, we are going to be in this range between the support from the Ichimoku cloud and the resistance of this AVS Media Demo. Line. Now... Which way we break past one of these lines for me is quite important. If we break down, I expect us to test the bottom, as I just said. And if we break, if we get forced and forced and forced, and we end up breaking up, then uh, watch out for the volume because if it's high volume, then uh, we could see a lovely little increase in Bitcoin. But we will have to watch that. Drawing this AVS one hour AVS Media um, Demo trend line on the RSI, as you can see, we've been getting rejected off this as well. So. If you know, if we break through this one-hour trend line uh, that we see on the RSI, I think that could be an indication that we're going to go and test and see if we can't break that purple long trend line. Also, okay. So quickly on to the uh, cryptocurrency market cap. AVS um, Media Demo. Sorry, guys. I just want to throw in there as well the Bitcoin stuff. Just remember, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just uh, I'm just a guy calling things as I see them. I'm not giving financial advice. This is educational content. You should always do your own research when investing. And that being said, if you 
uh, can be given information that leads you to do research that leads to things positively. AVS Media you, Demo. If you're not getting financial advice. Uh, anyway, so uh, red and green on coin market cap. Um, the biggest winners that I saw when I glanced over before were let's have a look. We've got uh, Centrality doing quite well at fourteen point two. Uh, we've got S four F AVS Media Demo forty percent. Worth having a look at this project. Looks interesting. Way to secure and safely store your cryptocurrency. So have a look at that. Uh, cash, which I've mentioned in previous videos as a, as a currency and a platform that I think will do well, up 15%. That's the Liquid Exchange. If you haven't checked out Liquid Exchange, I would uh, recommend it. Not, not all the volume is extremely high. AVS on there at the moment, Media but I Demo. It's just a case of waiting for it to get adap adopted. The actual uh, exchange itself is, is very, very good. I, I'm a big fan. Um, I don't hold any cash. I'm not shilling. Just go and check it out. Right. Okay. Uh, Project Pi, 13%. Uh, Aora has been on a lovely run over the last week or so. Another 20% gain there. AVS Aora. Media I Demo. I've got research on this product project. I'll uh, go, go away and read and see what this is about. And uh, if I find something of value, I will share it with you guys also. Um... Ontology, 15%. I know there's quite a few people in the Telegram group who are uh, trading Ontology and have made a bit of money off it. And the other one AVS Media well demo. this week in the group was Binance Coin. That's slightly down at the moment, but with the run that that thing's been on, who can be surprised? We've got a market cap of $134.8 billion. Uh, Bitcoin dominance at 518 23 hour volume, 24 hour volume, sorry, come down to 23.8 billion. Now, this is quite a pullback from AVS the, Media Demo. Uh, pump we had on a few days back. I think we sort of peaked at about 34 billion, and that was the highest trading um, volume we'd had in over a year uh, of 300 days or something like that. So, so pulling back to a normal level, it was trading at 21 billion, 24 hour volume for a week or so prior to that pump, and now we are coming back down to those levels. So, keep an eye on it. Don't know if that's AVS good. Media yeah. Demo in the price action just yet. We'll just have to watch that. We've already seen that tightening range, so seeing a drop in volume probably is to be expected. I anticipate that once we break either down through that Ichimoku cloud or up past the trend line, that's when we're going to see a significant increase in volume because people have seen which way it's going to break and they'll be trading to get involved. So keep an eye on that. AVS there. Media Demo. Um, let's have a quick look and see just the gainers and losers. I mean, you know, we just discount it under 100,000. It's just not worth looking at. If you're holding either of these coins, excellent. Congratulations. Well done. But, yeah. Ne no more need to AVS say. Media Aura's Demo. Top high volume gainer. Lunaire doing well, 26.9 of almost $5 million volume. LTO, is, I've got a couple of members in the group again who got into LTO weeks and weeks ago and, um, well, with big gains, hundreds of percent they've earned in the last few weeks. AVS so Media Demo. To those guys, again, I'm not going to be name dropping, but you guys know who you are in that group. Well done. Um, Moeda loyalty points done well. QRC20, ERC20, Playcoin, both of those doing well. And that looks like there's something there. I'm gonna have to get back to you in, on this one because that almost AVS like the, Media Demo with the volume being exactly the same. But these two coins linked in somehow. Does anyone know? If you guys know without me reading, get it in the uh, in the comments. I'd love to to have your input also. But there's the big one, obviously, Ontology with a, almost 120 million of volume and 17.7% .7 up. Really nice for Ontology. Nothing that I would consider a really AVS Media loss. Demo. Ripio Credit Network has peeled back, but that had again had a really big run up. So to see it drop 13% on 5 million is not too significant, not when you have a run up like they did. That's pretty much all the coin market cap stuff covered. I will now move on to the news story that I wanted to discuss. So here it is, guys. I'm sure that AVS you haven't Media been able to avoid this in the news this week. Uh, if you're tuned in to cryptocurrency news, you will have seen this. If you're in my group, I shared it. I watched the, the I actually watched the release live. They didn't mention anything about it on the release of the Samsung Sam, new S10 range. 
but uh, they did soon after put this um, this up on their newsroom. And I just want to read this out to you. Under the security features for the S10. Galaxy S10 is built with defense-grade Samsung Knox, as well as a secure storage backed by hardware, which houses your private keys for blockchain-enabled mobile services. Now, I'm going to start with Knox. I'm not sure if you've used this before. It's been on the on the Samsung S range for a couple of phones now. Very secure. AVS Media demo. Data and private stuff. Private, which in this uh, current day and age is almost impossible. So, worth uh, having Samsung Knox. But we, this is what we really care about: this hard, this secure storage backed by hardware, which houses your private keys for blockchain-enabled mobile services. Now, the exact definition of this is clearly they've written it as vague as possible. AVS um, Media demo. We do not know for sure that this means that you are going to have a cryptocurrency wallet embedded in your phone. We do not know this. However, it's certainly a hint towards that fact. I would suggest that. Certainly, at the moment, the majority of blockchain-enabled mobile services AVS Media are cryptocurrencies. We aren't seeing these big um, connected blockchain networks that aren't relying on cryptocurrency as yet, which would suggest to me this is a push for adoption for things like Bitcoin wallets on the phone. Now, this excites me. The reason it excites me is I don't know about you guys, for a couple of years now I've been using Samsung Pay. Easy as a contactless debit card. You tap your phone against the the card reader, it knows that, you know, it's exactly the same as using contactless phone, NFC contact, you make a payment through your phone. Imagine integrating these three technologies together. AVS Media Demo. Atomic Swap. And a Bitcoin wallet. I'm gonna let that sink in. And if there's any, if either three of those technologies you don't understand or don't know about, m- m- I guess the most likely would probably be Atomic Swap. I recommend you go and have a look at it. And you put the links between these three technologies and AVS Media Demo. Think. Because I think if we could have something that had an instant pathway from fiat to, to Bitcoin. On a mobile device, which we could use for contactless payment, we could have made one of the easiest ways to use Bitcoin every day that we've seen yet. Let's hope so. We want to see these things happen for mass adoption. And if Samsung have done AVS something along the lines of this, we're about to see tens of millions of people with access to spending cryptocurrencies right out of their pocket. We can only hope. That's going to be good for adoption. Anyway, guys... That's going to be enough for me today. I think I've rambled on for long enough. Thank you for being in the Telegram groups, if you're there. AVS Media Thank you for demo. liking and subscribing the video. It really helps me. Come and get involved with like-minded traders if you're not. I think it's going to be useful for you. Give me some feedback. I'm happy to take it, positive or negative. No opinions that are out of order here, but we will not accept abusive or, or discriminatory language. I'm not about that. AVS Media Demo. But feedback is going to help me improve this channel. It's going to help me improve the Telegram. It's going to make it better for all of us. Till next time, guys.